Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to replace your ABS sensor or uh, also known as the RPM sensor or wheel speed sensor. There's one attached to each wheel. If you see these uh, lights on the dashboard, the ABS light on the right and then ESP, BAS, um, visit workshop uh, don't panic. Um, this could also happen, I guess, when you're replacing some of the suspension components uh, or disconnect the battery. Um, uh, you can try turning the wheel all the way to the right and all the way to the left. Uh, if it goes away, then then uh, then great. Otherwise, um, uh, this video is not how to troubleshoot uh, speed sensors, but you need a scanner or a code reader to figure out whether or not you need to replace your sensor. So the presumption is that, that you have determined that the sensor needs to come out. I'll show you how to take it out. It's, uh, it's quite a straightforward, but if you don't know exactly it's kind of you know it's um, there's a little clip that you have to a, a tap that you have to press up and, and so I'll show you all of that um, um, some of the tools you need of course uh, besides the normal stuff uh, jack jack stand um, and um, and um, wrenches and whatnot. Um, you need an Allen key or Allen socket, a seven millimeter Allen socket. Um, this is the bolt that, this is the Allen bolt that holds the speed sensor to the wheel. Um, you can remove that and, um, and then um, kind of follow the cable. Um, the cable is also clipped uh, in a couple of different places. You need to unclip the cable. And of course, don't forget when you install the new one to clip the cable back in. Um, now, uh, sometimes, if you're lucky, depending on the age of the sensor, if the sensor is uh, rusted or there's a lot of debris and dust around it, you could just get away with uh, cleaning the sensor. Uh, but uh, if that doesn't do it and you're scanning the actual values of the uh, rotational speed of each wheel um, using the speed sensor and, and you see if, if, you, if there are fractional differences, that's, that's fine, but if you see uh, whole number differences and of course the code reader would tell you which sensor is bad. The one I purchased is from um, uh, Auto House AZ online and it's the cheapest I found as of March of uh, 2021 for $29 for the front. Uh, that's kind of cheap. Um, uh, usually they're in the $60 range or higher, even up to $100. So it, um, uh, it's good to see if you can clean it up first and, and try it and see if that resolves your problem. If it doesn't, then, uh, then this is, uh, you know, you have very little room here to work to get the sensor out. Um, I'm not saying you cannot remove the sensor and actually even reinstall it without uh, undoing this bracket. But if you do undo it, if you have a ratcheting wrench or, you know, a wrench, it will take a little longer, 10 millimeter, uh, and needle nose pliers, you can, uh, then the two handles uh, connected by this 10 millimeter bolt, um, you can move those out of the way and then give yourself all the room you need to uh, uh, not just remove but also to put the sensor back in. Uh, you can, if you get a pry bar, um, you will not break this, you know, you, 
you can you can give yourself a half an inch of room with a pry bar as you remove the sensor. Uh, also pay attention to the placement of the cables. There are two cables. So, so the sensor, the speed sensor kind of couples. Uh, there's a clip uh, that the clip is attached to the airmatic um, sensor. And so the speed sensor, the RPM sensor attaches to that. And so the two of them go together as you plug it in and as you uh, unplug it. And um, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, you also, if, if you have a, a pick, uh, there's uh, that metallic clip there that you can, using your pick, you can just, or tab I should say, you can uh, press it up. I'm showing you the two sides, so I hope I'm not confusing you, but um, this is the driver's side. Uh, once you, once you uh, pull the tab up, then, then you can easily... Here you see I'm removing it without undoing the bracket, but putting it back in is a little more difficult. On the other side, on the passenger side, I've removed the bracket. And as you can see here, the, the one on the, the two are coupled. The one on the left is uh, the aromatic suspension sensor. And the one on the right is the speed sensor. So you uncouple the two, and then this is um, this is the brand I used for twenty nine dollars, um, excluding tax and shipment, of course. Um, and it's also made in Germany. Uh, I have the part number and the beginning of the video. Uh, so you couple it with the uh, aromatic sensor and then you press it on and it goes all the way in. Um, and you can take a photo first to see how far it goes. So, so at the end, um, you know, because it might just stop because of all those cables there. Uh, uh, you, you may have to pry some of those cables out or under in order to get this to fully sit in. And I'm showing here how, um, how to remove the tab. Again, this is, this is the part that um, you probably will not see in other videos clearly out there on YouTube. Uh, but um, And this is the one that you press up in order to to remove it and then press it in after you've replaced it. And so once you've replaced the sensor, you just clip the cables back into their places. And this is the passenger side I'm showing you. And then the rest is just the reverse of the install. Uh, I hope um, I hope you'll find this of use. The, the sensor bulb, uh, you, you need a torque wrench, of course. Um, uh, it torques to 18.4, so uh, um, uh, foot pounds, 25. Uh, Newton um, and um, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, mm -hmm.